now let us look at a variant of this partial set covering problem that part the, the variant of this uh, is uh, called p median problem okay so what is a p median problem in a p median problem there are two decision variables here there was only one decision variable xj right xj right there was only one decision variable which was xj i was trying to decide whether to have the facility at j or not so this was a binary variable and there were uh, there were nine such variables there were nine such variables or p such variables depending on uh, you want to have a limited membership of a uh, number of facilities possible aij was serving the role of membership can facility at j serve node i right that that was decided by this parameter aij 1 or 0 can it serve can it not serve let us say that i don't have this membership right i don't have this membership now let me not have this 30 mile red, um, condition right 30 mile condition and now let me say that this condition doesn't exist so i am not saying that uh, uh, the truck from the warehouse can travel only 30 miles or retailer should not have to travel more than 30 miles to reach the warehouse i i don't want to say that i want to say that locate the facilities in such a way locate multiple facilities in such a way that the total weighted distance traveled by everybody to come and pick up the stuff from warehouse is minimized which is a completely different objective from whatever we have looked at in the set covering problem right set covering problem had this 30 mile condition given now we don't want to impose that 30 mile condition we want to say why should i minimize why should i say that this 15 is also okay and this 25 is also okay 15 should be preferable no because uh, here the person is traveling only 15 miles here the person is traveling 25 miles i was neglecting all of that when i was imposing this condition because anything that is less than or equal to 30 miles was one otherwise it was zero so i was not giving any enough benefits to these close by nodes as long as it was less than 30 if it is more than 30 i would have simply said zero right so now let me granularize that and say that my objective is not to minimize the number of facilities neither it is to maximize coverage now i will go back to the minimization objective but this time i want to now say minimize the total weighted distance traveled by the uh, customers who want to use this facility now this 30 mile condition imposed that membership rule aij rule right this aij rule was imposed right because of this threshold now this aij will have to go away now potentially speaking potentially speaking i don't mind having a facility at 5 and asking a customer from node 8 to come and pick up things from node 5 not directly obviously not directly they can come only from uh, uh, available red network from 6 to 5 or from 7 4 and 5 right but i am not stopping that i am not stopping that right so when we say when we say that node 5 can serve node a right earlier we were not able to say that because of this condition but now i am not i am not hesitating to say that it's okay if it if it minimizes my total weighted distance traveled why should i prevent it i am not worried about individual customers spending less than 30 miles or traveling less than 30 miles i am now saying that overall total weighted distance by all of my customers put together has to be minimized right so i am i am not looking at every individual customers here i am looking only at the aggregate level only at an aggregate level okay so now since there is no membership parameter aij since there is no membership parameter aij that goes away and now i have to define another variable called xij what will be xij or or yij right xij okay sure xij let me say xij what is this xij now if there is a facility at j should i assign node i to uh, facility at j should i assign indirectly asked if i decide to set up a facility at 5 i have not decided 
right nobody has decided to have a facility at 5 but if we decide to have a facility at 5 should node 8 be assigned to facility at 5 should node 8 be assigned to a facility at 5 should node 7 be assigned to a facility at 5 should node 9 be assigned to a facility at 5 that is that variable xij now i have to have that xij variable and it has to be a variable i cannot a priori decide that i don't know maybe it is beneficial in the overall uh, aggregate level right overall aggregate level or the total total weighted distance criteria may dictate total weighted distance criteria may dictate that i have multiple facilities so that the total weighted distance is minimized and therefore a person from 9 doesn't have to travel to node number 5 doesn't have to travel to node number 5 so we are not saying earlier aij was very clean 1 and 0 uh, can this facility serve node i yes or no and i was providing that input to the optimization problem now i want optimization problem to figure out what node should be assigned to what other node right we are not deciding that we are not deciding that at all so let let the optimization problem tell us and therefore the decision variables of a p median problem are very very different now in a p median problem first of all i am going to decide whether to have a facility at j so that binary variable remains whatever it is earlier it was xj now we are representing that as yj now if there is a vertex j which has been selected as a median right don't uh, confuse don't get confused between this median and the cross median problem that we had discussed earlier right median only means facility right median only means facility in the context of facility location problem right so what is this problem this problem is only p number of facilities are possible earlier what i told you i have money only for p number of facilities only p number of medians right there is a very very tight budget constraint only p number of medians can be built and therefore that's what gives the name to this optimization problem okay so uh, <clears throat> what is this yj variable yj variable is 1 or 0 if vertex j is selected as a node where we are going to have the facility what is this xij xij is what is called as the assignment variable assignment variable okay assignment variable if vertex i can be assigned to a median at vertex j if there is a facility at if there is a facility at j can that facility of j be uh, can that facility at j serve node i zero if it doesn't want to serve and unlike aij xij is a decision variable we want optimization problem to tell us which facility should serve which nodes okay so the p median problem is fundamentally very very different than a set covering problem fundamentally very different than a set covering problem all right let us look at the formulation now now you have understood the two decision variables xij and yj what is going to be the objective what is going to be the objective as i said the objective is to minimize the total weighted distance traveled okay so dij is the distance between node i and node j that is your dij wi represents the weight weight essentially represents the amount of demand the number of people living at node i who may have requirement at the warehouse which may be located in the same node which may be located in a neighbor neighborhood node right so how many people from node i are actually traveling to the facility at j that is that weight xij tells us whether people from node i have to go to j right if there is a facility at j right so this guarantees so there is a there is a summation summation sign because it's a uh, uh, for all facilities and for all the no uh, for all the nodes and for all the facilities for all the nodes and for all the facilities wi dij xij wi dij xij wi di wi di is the weighted distance that is the weighted distance so it's a 
टोटल वेटेड डिस्टेंस मिनिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम टोटल वेटेड डिस्टेंस मिनिमाइजेशन प्रॉब्लम now what are the restrictions uh, what are the restrictions on this p median problem the first and most important condition is that i can only have p number of facilities which dictates facilities yj dictates facilities so what is the most important constraint here this constraint okay so the total number of facilities i can have so if there is a facility at 1 the y1 will be 1 if there is a facility at 2 y2 will be 1 if there is a facility at 3 y3 will be 1 so this summation has to be less than or equal to the budget which is the p number of facilities that i can have right or k number of facilities that i can have since the optimization is more popularly called p median problem i have kept it at p earlier we had said the same number to be k we had said k same thing idea is still the same so this is the most important constraint in a p median problem because this dictates the p now what there are some other important constraints what does this constraint say this constraint says yeah yeah okay some of these nodes have a facility some of these nodes have a facility some of these nodes have a facility let us say that this j equal to 7 is actually a facility it is not only a market it is also a warehouse so now you have to have assignment node 2 has to be assigned to 2 node 2 has to be assigned to 4 you have to make some assignments every node has to be assigned to certain facilities otherwise how do you expect the demand at node 2 to be met so to ensure that the demand at node 2 is actually met we have to ensure that every node is assigned to some facility that is governed by this constraint that is governed by this constraint summation of xij has to be equal to 1 let us write that down for node 1 so it is x11 plus x12 plus x13 plus x14 all the way to plus x19 equal to 1 what does that mean what is x11 what is x11 if vertex 1 is assigned to a facility at 1 if you are assigning node 1 to node 1 this will be 1 right for that there has to be a facility at 1 now if x12 what is x12 if you are assigning node 1 to facility at 2 that will be 1 if you are assigning node 1 to facility at 3 that will be 1 what we are what we want is every node has to be assigned to some facility so and assigned to only one facility you can't say oh either you can go here or you can go here you are only confusing the customers every node has to be assigned to a facility right so you are telling the customers very clearly go to this facility right so therefore it is equal once again we could have said greater than or equal to right greater than or equal to could also be alternate formulation just to say that every node is covered at least once every node is covered at least once covered in the sense every node is assigned to a facility at least once i may assign a node to multiple facilities but every node has to be assigned to some facility at least once <coughs> and for every node this has to be written so there are going to be nine such constraints There are going to be nine such constraints. Now, what does this constraint ensure? Now, let us say that y one. Let us say x one two. What was x one two? X one two will be equal to one. X one two will be equal to one if node one is assigned to a facility at two. Now, let us say x one two is one. That requires us to have a facility at two. that requires us to have a facility at 2 therefore if x12 is 1 y2 has to be equal to 1 there has to be a facility at 2 now you cannot have x13 equal to 1 and y3 equal to 0 can't have y3 equal to 0 means there is no facility at 3 so how can you assign node 1 to a facility at 3 you can't a simple way of setting this connection between the two decision variables is to simply write is to simply write xij has to be less than or equal to yj right so what are, what are we saying if x12 if x12 is 1 y2 has to be 1 if x12 is 0 y2 can still be 1 there can be a facility at 2 y2 is 1 but node 1 need not be assigned to 2 node 1 could have been assigned to some other facility that's okay 
xij can be less than or equal to yj this can be 0 this can be 1 but when this is 1 this has to be 1 that can be written by this clever logic that xij has to be less than or equal to yj okay so that is the third constraint the first important constraint is i can only have p number of facilities p mediums every node has to be assigned to some facility and whenever you are assigning a node to a facility that facility better be created yj has to be equal to 1 right that facility better exist and what is the objective here objective here is the minimization of the total weighted distance okay total weighted distance okay and once again uh, that completes our discussion on the p median problem